guys, how's it going? It's Bug Out Bundy. Thanks for watching. Wanted to do an EDC video today. Uh, posted a bunch of my new EDC gear up online and I'm really excited about it. So uh, we're just going to jump in. So you guys have all seen uh, my Ontario Knife Company Rat 1. Uh, this was my EDC blade for a while. We just wanted something a little bit bigger. Aussie steel, uh, real nice fit and finish. If you guys know anything about the Rat 1s, they're a staple in the knife community. Uh, probably the best beater knife on the market. Uh, right around $30. Uh, Fiberglass reinforced nylon handles, uh, steel construction. Uh, they do have a version in D2. It's right around $70, but I don't have a problem with this. I like the Aus 8. Super, super sharp, high grind, uh, gets all your slicing and cutting tasks done. Uh, so that was my EDC blade for a long time, uh, probably the last six months to a year. Uh, and then my EDC multi tool. You guys seen the Gerber suspension NXT, uh, nice suspension pliers, skeletonized. Not too heavy, uh, nice weight to it, nice light, uh, but it does take up a lot of room in my pocket. And the problem was there's about five criteria that I need for a multi-tool. Uh, and between this and this Victoria Knox Fieldmaster, uh, I was able to have everything I need. So uh, we have the pocket clip here, I have the pliers, uh, screwdriver, but I was still missing one of my criteria. So uh, my criteria for a good multi-tool, obviously I need pliers, I need scissors, uh, I need a pocket clip, and I need a bit kit to be able to hold uh, my Leatherman bit kit. And I'll get into that in a minute. Well, this, neither one of these have the bit kit, pocket clip. This doesn't have scissors. Though the scissors are useless. So I had to go with the Victorinox Fieldmaster. So you can imagine uh, carrying this around every day as your multi-tool uh, can get a little cumbersome. There's a lot of stuff in your pocket, especially when you're carrying such a big uh, folder like the Rat 1. Uh, also, you guys have also seen my K-Bar TDI. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but the reason why main reason I'm doing this video is I got two new EDC items uh, and I'd like to share those with you. So uh, first we're going to do my Benchmade Boost. Uh, now this is uh, a Benchmade. Anyone who knows anything about knives knows Benchmade is amazing. This was a birthday gift. My birthday was in November. My very best friend in the world, Shannon, uh, gave me this uh, for my birthday. We exchanged some gear. He's also my bug out brother. Uh, so when anything hits the fan, it's going to be me and him out there, so look out, guys. Uh, no, so uh, really excited about the knife. Um, Benchmade S30V steel, probably one of the best blade steels on the market. Spear point blade, um, just amazingly sharp out of the box, uh, ridiculously sharp, cuts paper, cardboard, everything you want. It does have the access lock, okay, right here, so you just pull this down uh, and uh, it unlocks. Now, it is assisted, Still on the fence about whether I like it assisted or not. It obviously deploys very, very quickly. You just flip it up there, the blade's out. The only issue with the assisted and the access lock together, the access lock by Benchmade uh, is uh, designed to be able to one-handed open and one-handed close. Now, obviously you saw the one-handed opening. I can one-handed close it. It's a little cumbersome though. It doesn't close like a non-assisted, but Benchmade Boost, uh, Grivery handles, uh, real rubbery texture. Uh, this comes out of the pocket a little easy, so it doesn't have your G10 or anything like that, but you can tell this knife is meant to work. Uh, you can beat the hell out of it. Uh, I could foresee giving this to my kids at some point. So uh, the Benchmade Boost, really, really excited about it. Uh, it's a little big in my pocket, but honestly, when you're carrying a Benchmade, you'll know why. So really excited to have that. Now, uh, I'm going to do my keys next. Um, this is my keychain. So we have the turnkey flex. It's just like your other key smart key bar metal organizers, but I like it because it's rubber. It's super, super light. Um, now it doesn't come with this key ring. I did attach this key ring right here to it just to be able to have a longer profile of my keys to drop in my pocket. This way everything's not clumping up at once. Um, I also have, it's called an Ida key key. It's a carabiner, uh, but there's no spring on it. It's all one piece of metal. So, uh, less likely to break a really, really nice carabiner. You can get two of them for $8 online. I really, really like them. So organizes my keys real nice. Um, and then I also have, uh, on my keychain the Olight i3 eos i actually got this for free on their black friday sale just had to pay the shipping of five dollars so as you can see really really bright light um really nice great keychain light doesn't take up too much room so that's my entire key package right there so nice and slim and compact i really like it um my k-bar tdi you guys have all seen this already on my instagram uh fixed blade knife 
Really, really nice. 1095 tool steel, wicked sharp out of the box. Full tang fixed blade uh, with some uh, plastic handles. Uh, real nice purchase on the blade. Real good for close quarters. Uh, if anyone gets on top of you, God forbid, in an altercation in your car, uh, it's going to be hard to get a knife out of your pocket. It's going to be hard to pull a fixed blade. But the way that this sits on your belt, uh, you'll notice it's going to be real, real easy to get out if I ever need to. All you do to pull it out is literally just put pressure on the jipping on the sheath and it comes right out. So K-Bar TDI, uh, any law enforcement military people will be familiar. They do have a longer version, uh, but I like this for concealed carry. I don't wear it on a vest. I wear it underneath my clothes. So really, really nice. I don't carry this every day, but I do carry it most of the time. So uh, between the K-Bar TDI and my new Benchmade Boost, uh, I got a decent amount of blades to get everything done. So obviously I was trying to replace both of these. Okay, so I ended up going on OfferUp. I got in a great deal. You guys know I love OfferUp, LetGo, Craigslist. I love finding deals wherever I can. You saw my sidekick that I had before. I did lose it in my move. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for that. Well, I just picked up the Leatherman Wave, uh, Wave Plus for $40 on OfferUp. Now, this one multi-tool, it's a little on the heavy side. It's right around 8 ounces. But this multi-tool will replace this, this, and... Add in the capability for the bit kit that I need, which I'm really excited about. So here's my Leatherman bit kit. Uh, just all the different bits, starburst bits, hex bits, all that. I like this because it turns this one tool into a bunch of different tools and screwdrivers and all that. So I keep this with me on a lanyard, usually in my EDC bag. Uh, but now that I have the multi-tool, I might be carrying it on me every day. So your Leatherman Wave, nice, compact. Uh, right on the outside, right away, there's four tools you can access. So you have your 420C, uh, 428C stainless steel blade, really nice and sharp. Good, really nice blade. Uh, I can do a lot of cutting tasks with this, and I won't have to pull out uh, my, my knife, uh, my main defensive knife, uh, to do the tool task. So 420C does have a liner lock, so that locks in place. That's not going anywhere. Um, on this side, you do have a really gnarly wood saw. Uh, the saw is pretty nice. As I said, I did uh, do some great work with the sidekick saw on a tree, so I can imagine what the saw on this wave will do. I'll probably be able to get a lot more done with that. Also liner locked. These are all the tools you can access from the outside of the multi-tool. Uh, this one here is a file, so it has your diamond file uh, and your wood file, a metal file on it. Really, really nice. File my nails, file some wood down, do some file work on some of my uh, uh, tools. So I really like a nice large file. And then um, also on the outside, you'll notice here it's got the jimping, which lets you know it's the serrated blade. So if you've never had a serrated blade or never needed a serrated blade, a lot of people say, why would you need it? Um, Cutting a seatbelt in an emergency, cutting rope, cutting cardboard. Why dull up your regular blade when you can just have a nice serrated blade? So really, really nice features on the outside of the multi-tool. Um, right now, obviously opens up real, real nice. You do It is the Wave Plus, so you do have the replaceable wire stripper blades. In case you do a lot of wire stripping, those will hard wire, those will dull quickly. So you can change out the wire cutter. So really, really good feature. Real nice and light. Um, real, real well built. You can just tell this is a quality, quality tool. Um, Pliers, honestly, working on your car. I have an older car, so I work on it a lot. Pliers come in handy uh, for all those little clamps and stuff that you might have to crimp down. So a lot of people say, why do you do pliers? Believe it or not, pliers come in really, really handy. Um, so on the inside, all the tools on the multi-tool, you have your uh, flathead slash pry bar. I don't know how much I'd pry with it, but really, really nice large flathead screwdriver. You have your scissors, one of my requirements uh, was a nice pair of scissors. Now, they don't look too robust, but they're actually very, very sharp. They cut a bunch of paper, cut rope, anything I need to do with them. So, already I have my scissors and my saw. All right, now, this is a really nice feature of this particular multi-tool. I was not counting on. It was not one of my, one of my requirements. Uh, but since I happen to do wear glasses, this has a bit uh, driver in it with a eyeglass screwdriver. It's got your flathead and your Phillips head, depending on what your eyeglasses are. Uh, and this literally just fits right in here. So an added bonus that I was not counting on, but I'm very, very excited about. I got to adjust my glasses a lot. So there you go. That, that just sits right in the frame of the multi-tool. Really, really nice. On the other side, uh, we just have your obligatory bottle opener, can opener. Okay. I don't know, you know, use it for a can opener. It's nice. Bottle over, not so much. It doesn't get enough grip on it, but I don't open too many bottles. So I uh, really don't need that. Now, the one part about this, what makes it great, great for me is obviously the uh, bit extender. So 
This is your Leatherman bit extender. It comes with a flathead and a screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver bit that just locks in there and sticks in. Now the great thing is now because of that driver, this literally turns this multi-tool into whatever I need it because I can put any one of these bits in here. Uh, there also is a bit extender that they sell. Um, I might be getting that soon just to play around with it, see if it's really, really necessary. So the only one of my criteria this does not have is a pocket clip. Uh, it doesn't come with a pocket clip. You can get a pocket clip for this for 5 or $6 off of Leatherman's website. Believe it or not, it's a stainless steel multi-tool. I'm going to go with the black pocket clip. Uh, the reason why I'm not in it for fashion, I'm in it for function. Um, and the way the pocket, it sits in my pocket, my blade uh, clip is black. Uh, deep carry, so I also want my Leatherman too. I don't want anyone to know I have anything on me. Not that they're going to automatically, oh, a multi-tool, but when it's sitting in your pocket, they don't know what it is. It could be a multi-tool, could be a knife. I don't want anyone to know I'm carrying anything on me because they can look at it and assume I'm carrying a knife. The whole point is to be stealth, uh, is to be incognito. So this is literally how I dress on a normal basis. Uh, nothing tactical, just an Under Armour hoodie, Under Armour hat, champion, puffy vest, uh, but you can have all these tools with you uh, and still be prepared for your day uh, without giving off anything that you are. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching. Just want to do a quick uh, EDC update. Uh, a few other pictures, obviously, along with my AirPods, my wallet, uh, and all that. And also, one thing that's very important that I carry a lot, I forgot to mention, is just a little boo-boo kit. I have some clotted gauze in there, some antiseptic wipes, some regular gauze, some bandages, uh, burn cream, you know, just something real little. It's super little and thin. It fits right under my wallet in my pocket. I don't even notice it. Uh, so these are just some of the tools that I carry with me every day. You never know what the day will hold. Uh, last but not least, what I do with it, uh, the same flashlight, still carrying it, still going strong. Streamlight USB micro stream, uh, USB rechargeable. I did lose the tail cap, still functions, still drop proof. Uh, they're sending me a brand new towel cap in the mail, so shout out to Streamlight. Really appreciate that. Uh, customer service was phenomenal. Didn't even ask any questions. I just said I need a new tail cap. They're sending me a new tail cap. So uh, that's pretty much my whole EDC. I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions you have, let me know. Hop on Instagram and comment. We'll talk to you soon.